Hello girls and boys, it's me, Miss Vanessa, and welcome to another story time video. I have picked out another story to read with you guys, and of course we're going to discuss all the main points, what I think the meanings are, brand some personal experiences after. Um, this story that I picked out today is called Sticky Brains by Nicole Libin, and it actually has to do a little bit with what I'm studying in college right now. I am a psychology major, and there are going to be a couple psychology terms that I'm going to go over with you guys after we read, so let's jump right into the story. Aria was feeling bad. Really bad. She didn't feel like playing at all, even though her best friend Zara came over. What's wrong, Aria? asked Zara. This was the worst week ever. Everything was awful. Wow, Zara said. What happened? Aria started to explain, getting madder and madder as she talked. She felt like her head was going to burst. On Monday, I broke my new laces. On Tuesday, I fell off my bike. On Wednesday, I made a mess on my favorite shirt. On Thursday, I brought my new race car in for show and tell, but Max had the same car and showed everyone before I got to. On Friday, my mom worked late, so I had to stay at school for an extra hour. My whole week was bad. Zara looked puzzled. Wait, I was with you for most of that. You broke your laces on Monday, but you also got new shoes with lightning bolts on them. You fell off your bike on Tuesday because you were trying to ride it with no hands, and you did it. You dropped ice cream on your shirt on Wednesday, but your dad said you could clean it. On Thursday, you and Max were playing together with your cars all recess. Even the big kids watched. And I thought your mom worked late Friday so she could take you camping over the weekend. See? The week wasn't all bad. Yeah, I guess. I have to go in now. See you later. Arya was confused. She went into the house and found her mom. Mom, I think there's something wrong with me. I only remember the bad stuff that happens. It makes me feel like I'm bad too. Her mom gave her a hug. Oh, sweetheart, that sounds very frustrating. And can I tell you a secret? Sure. I sometimes feel that way too. Really? Yes, so does your dad. Almost everyone feels like that some of the time. Her mom started to explain, a long time ago, people really needed to watch out for scary things. If they didn't notice a mean tiger, they could be in danger. But if they missed the good stuff, like a juicy orange or a beautiful sunset, they would still be okay. So our brains learned to focus on the bad stuff because that's what helped us stay safe. But bad thoughts are like glue. They stick to us even if we don't want them to. This can make us feel like everything is bad or even that we're bad too. So bad thoughts are stickier than good ones? Asked Aria. Yes, replied her mom. The stuff we think is bad, scary, or sad is really sticky. Our brains see it more and remember it longer. So it's not just you who sees the bad more than the good. Everyone gets stuck sometimes. Well, I don't want to be stuck, yelled Aria. Her mom smiled, but there's really good news too. First, we don't have to get mad at ourselves if we feel sad or if we feel stuck on the bad stuff. And we can do something about it. We can actually change our brains to let go of the bad and see more of the good. The more we practice, the stronger our brains will be. Do you remember when you were first learning how to ride your bike? Aria nodded. It was really hard at first. I fell a bunch of times. But the more you did it, the easier it got, right? Arya nodded again. Yeah, I'm awesome at it now. Our brains work the same way. They get good at what they practice. So we can change our brains to see bad things in a new way? Yes, her mom replied. Instead of getting stuck, we can choose what we want to notice. Arya started to think about this. If I practice, it would help me see that things aren't all bad. 
my brain was showing me only part of the picture. Her mom smiled. That's right. And we can teach our brains to see more of the good stuff more of the time. Why don't we try it now? When something good happens, let's help the feelings stick. First, we can take a few deep breaths. Now let's find something that makes us feel good. It can be big like a beautiful rainbow or getting a birthday present or even something small like a cool sip of water. Let's pay attention to how the good things make us feel inside. Then we can soak in the good feelings. Wow, said Aria, it's pretty easy to change my brain. So remember, even when everything feels awful, you can train your brain to stick less to the bad and notice more of the good. You just need to practice until it sticks. The next week, Arya and Zara were walking to school. All of a sudden, Arya tripped and fell. Uh-oh, said Zara. Is this another horrible week? Arya felt her face getting hot. She started to get mad again, but then she remembered her brain-changing powers. She took a deep breath and decided to feel the warm sun on her face. It worked, she felt better. Well, I got in trouble for not cleaning my room. I lost my pony sunglasses and my unicorn shirt rip, she said. But I also got to play outside, climb trees and help my dad bake bread. Then she smiled and thought to herself, I wonder how I will change my brain next week. All right guys, that brings us to the end of our story and I hope you enjoyed the one that I picked out for you and now it's time to discuss. So we are introduced to our main character, her name is Aria and she seems to be having trouble with something that a lot of us struggle with. It's really easy to get overwhelmed by negative thoughts and bad experiences that are happening to us and the moment that we focus all our attention onto that, we end up forgetting that there's a lot of good that's happening in our lives too. That's why it's super important to as often as you can remember to list off to yourself all the good things you have going on in your lives. For your friends, your family, the ability to go to school and learn, the ability to be able to jump around and play, all the things that you have. So I want you guys to take a couple seconds to sit down and think about all the things that you're grateful for. Remind yourself of the good things that you have in your life. I want you to sit there and you can either write it down, you can say it out loud, you can think about it, all the good things that you have in your life. exercise was able to help remind you guys of all the good things that are happening in your life even though especially lately it might be hard to see all the good things in our lives but they're always there and you have to remember when something bad is happening that it's temporary now at the end of our story we have a couple psychology terms like I mentioned earlier that I want to go over with you guys because I feel like they're really important and I'll help you grasp the story a little bit better so the first one we have is called negativity bias. The idea that Arya and her mom talk about in the book, how bad thoughts are stickier than good ones is known as the negativity bias. Negativity means the stuff you don't like, stuff you think is bad, gloomy, or unpleasant. Bias means more likely to think about or notice one thing over another. Our next term is neuroplasticity. The power to change your brain by paying attention is called neuroplasticity. Neuro means brain. Plasticity is like soft clay. You can mold it and change the way it works. By focusing more on the good and letting the bad stuff come and go without blaming yourself, you can train your brain to be less likely to react or get upset and more likely to enjoy what's happening right now. Science shows that you can even change your brain shape just by paying attention. Our third term is mindfulness. Mindfulness is all about noticing what's happening right now without judging it. You can be mindful of what's going on inside of you, your thoughts, feelings, and your body. And you can be mindful of what's on the outside too, what you hear, see, smell, taste, and touch. Mindfulness lets you be kind and curious about whatever is going on. 
That means you can choose what to do about it and decide what you want to focus on instead of getting caught up in the bad things or calling yourself mean names. It's one of the easiest ways to change your brain because all you need is yourself. Now we're going to go over some ways that you can practice changing your brain. Number one, press pause. At any time, anyone can take a moment to pause. Wherever you are, take a deep breath and notice how you feel in your body. You can feel your breath going in and out. Are your fingers tingling? How many toes can you feel without wiggling them? Do you feel heavy or light, warm or cool? Then take three big breaths. Notice how you feel after you breathe. You can use this if you start to get upset or frustrated or anytime you feel like you need a break. Pausing and really exploring what your body feels like helps you let go of any bad or mean thoughts that might be running through your mind at the moment. You can even make pause buttons. Get a button to keep in your pocket or by your bed, or tie a string through it and make a bracelet you can wear. Use your pause button as a reminder that you can stop and take a pause and a breath whenever you need it. The second way is by exploring your senses. Take a moment to stop and explore what's happening right now using all of your senses. What colors or shapes do you see? What do you hear far away or up close? What can you smell? How many things can you taste? What does your body feel like right now? What can you feel with your fingers or toes? You can even imagine you're an alien from outer space and everything is totally new to you. You don't need to decide if something is good or bad. See if you can just notice and be curious about it. It's amazing to discover all the different things you can be aware of if you just stop and notice. And it helps you choose what you want to pay attention to more often. The third way is the weather inside. Use this exercise as a chance to notice how you've been feeling and do your best to be with your feelings just how they are. Ask yourself, what's the weather like inside of me right now? It could be dark and stormy, bright and sunny, cloudy, hazy, or maybe freezing and blustery. See if you can be curious and watch it come and go, like you would watch clouds in the sky. Happiness, sadness, anger, and fear happen inside all of us, just like snow, rain, and sun happen outside. You might not ask for them or even be able to control them, but if you can notice them, you can remember that just like the weather, they will come and go. And you can be kind and gentle to yourself while they are around. The fourth and final way is by being grateful. This simple exercise can be done at any point throughout the day. All you have to do is find something that you are grateful for or something that makes you happy. Just like Arya does in the book, you can focus on something big like your birthday or your last trip to grandma's house or something small like a soft blanket. Take a moment to really notice how it makes you feel in your body. See if you can truly enjoy that feeling. You can also write down or draw your gratitudes and keep them in a special gratitude jar that you decorate with your family. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making this for you. And until my next video with you guys, have fun and stay safe. Bye.